Hello everybody, welcome to another absolutely beautiful day here at Clean Valley Farms. It is the end of May, we are almost approaching that last full moon in May, which apparently is when you're supposed to plant things out around here. I wish I had known about that before the pepper incident, but such is life. The reason we're on Clean Valley Farms with this today is because I am trying something similar to that lasagna gardening method. I'm not doing it properly because that's just not the JT Bear way, is it? But I am doing it with what I have because that is the JT Bear way. Down here we've got our first layer of cardboard. I may go in and grab a, a little bit more. But this is basically how wide we're going to make this thing today. Shox has been working away cutting up sod chunks for our next patch of garden. Say hello to the people. Hi people. And we are going to use these chunks of sod flip them over and that's going to be the first layer we put on top of the cardboard here for our lasagna garden and then after that it's time to mow the lawn because that's what we've got for compost so this is not how you're supposed to do it but you know it's it's how it goes we're going to take the sod we're going to do all the way around the outside and then we've got a bunch of sticks and twigs and stuff we're going to fill up the middle with semi hugel culture and then old compost and then fresh lawn clippings. But we'll get a few clips of that along the way, I think. Hopefully this will be finished today. So with the basic sod frame completed, I'm going to start filling it in with a lot of the sticks and twigs that we have just kind of piled up here from other bits of cleanup on the property. Probably should wet this cardboard first, but we're expecting thunderstorms on the weekend, so I'm not gonna. So I've just dumped that bit of wood in here and now Shox and I are going about the highly technical process of walking all over it to break it down. There's probably a better way to do it, but yeah, this is fun, so this is what we're doing. Yay, don't jump on the bed! Just kidding, go right ahead. Alright, so there's that stage sort of done. I got some poking up there, but I'm just about to put some weight of some compost on there. Here we have very very fresh this is like what two weeks ago maybe the first time we mowed the lawn but it's the closest we've got to uh, composted compost so as I'm building up the layers of the grass compost here Shox is just adding more sod to the edges to create kind of a brick effect some support for the outside worked for the onion fort so I think that's about all the browns from the old compost that I can possibly squeeze into this thing now it's time to Mow the lawn, throw some greens on there, and we'll see. So here we've got the first lawnmower bag worth of freshly cut lawn greens on there. Shox is just working on the retaining wall in the front still. And I've got lots more to mow. The upside of having so much lawn on your property is that no matter what, there's always more compost to come. So, you know, excellent. So basically, this is where we're gonna call it done. Got some good height built up on the sides there. Many thanks to Shox for that. And filled up the middle with lots of brown grass and fresh green cut grass. And it is what it is. So here's some idea of how much sod was used. I have a funny feeling we're gonna be making another one of these beds again in the future. But I need a couple weeks of lawn mowing to get those browns developed first. Now I do recognize that because this is still breaking down, it is unwise to plant in here. Y'all know that's not gonna stop me though. So, I got a funny feeling this is going to get planted with peas and beans because those should add some extra nitrogen, help the whole process. And by next year, we should be good to go with a, a more standard type raised bed here. Very interesting sort of look to it. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap it up there. It's getting on time to head inside and make some dinner. So thank you so much for joining me here on Clean Valley Farms today. Shox and I do appreciate the time you spend with us here. And uh, yeah, thanks for taking a look at this hugel culture slash lasagna bed thing that we're building out of the sod so that we can get some soil garden going. All right. Have yourselves an absolutely wonderful weekend ahead, everybody. I will see you next time.